Hello, I'm Kyle Ruddy, and welcome to this Hashi Talk session. Excuse me, there's some sensitives in my terraform. And while the title might be a little tongue in cheek, hopefully you've noticed over the last couple of terraform releases that there's been a tremendous focus on sensitivity and handling sensitive values. So when I came up and pitched this session, I was like, look, Kareem, sensitives, they are everywhere. And really, that's never been more true. So if you think about it, Variables and outputs can now be marked as sensitive. Providers and modules have built-in sensitivity support. Functions can even be used directly in line in your Terraform configurations to mark values either as sensitive or to remove sensitivity. And then of course there's the state file, but I'm excluding that from this session because I particularly feel that state files should always be treated as sensitive. So let's jump into our demo and take a look at the top couple bullet points and see how those react to uh, handling as sensitive. So here's our demo environment. We're going to be making use of the random provider to have a little bit of fun. So we'll start off by creating our control resource here, in which case we've been given the trusty bass. So now we're going to update our configuration here to include a sensitive variable. So now if we see here, we have a new resource block there. And if we jump to our variables file, we have our sensitive variable with the sensitivity attribute marked as true. So if we go ahead and do a Terraform plan, we will see that our prefix there has been marked as sensitive and been redacted from the output. So now we're going to update our outputs so that we can now see what that, how that interacts with our Terraform usage. So we'll jump over to our outputs file. Here we have our sensitive pet and our sensitive attribute there is also marked as true. So we can go ahead and rerun our Terraform apply, in which case we have one new resource that has been added and we see that our sensitive pet has been marked as sensitive and redacted from our output. So now let's jump into the provider support because we can actually continue using the random provider to go ahead and make use of the random password object, in which case we can see here and thanks to some IntelliSense, we see that the result is treated as sensitive by default. So it's not going to be displayed on our console output. And of course we have to update our output here to include the sensitive attribute for that password. So now we can go ahead and rerun our apply. So now we have our trusty bass as our control. We have our password that's being marked as sensitive, even though we have seen that it's been added. And then we have our sensitive pet. So let's move on to our next area, which is going to be su sensitivity support for modules. So in this case, we're going to be creating a couple additional randomized pets. Uh, and in this case, we've created a module that's called random zoo. So we're going to be using the count function to create five different animals with the prefix of Tampa, because that's where I live. And let's take check out our module here. Uh, the main configuration file is fairly basic, just one simple single pet that's there. Then we have our variables file where we call out the sensitive attribute, then set it to false. Even though that's by default, I did want to spell that out. Then we have our outputs, and this is where we define our output being sensitive. So when that gets returned back to our configuration, it will be marked as sensitive. So now we can go ahead and run this. Oh, need to do a Terraform in it real quick. And now we can run our Terraform reply, and we have five additional animals and resources that have been added to our configuration output. And we can see that our zoo output has also been marked as sensitive. So now that we've done all these things that involve sensitives, let's start, uh, you know, maybe removing some of the sensitives. So let's go to, let's switch our branch here. And we'll be using a function. So here we're taking advantage of the random shuffle, staying within the random provider here. And we're going to be using the non-sensitive function and applying that to our zoo pets response from our module in the previous step. So we can actually see what those, what those random animals that were created. So we're gonna hit apply on that. And we can see that now, thanks to our shuffle output, you see that the primary lemur, close termite, maximum wasp, upright buck, and good fly have been created uh, as part of our configuration here. 
But now we're going to go back to our control and now we're going to make that sensitive. So if we go ahead and switch our branch here over to that and then switch into our outputs. Oh, we need our outputs from our main configuration file, not our module. We can see that we have our sensitive normal pet, which is going to just take that random pet that we created in the beginning and mark it as sensitive. We can now run the apply and see that we still have our trusty bass that's set as our normal pet. But now we also have our sensitive normal pet that is using the sensitive function to now mark that as sensitive for our output. So that was a really quick run through some of the usage of sensitives within Terraform configuration files, even if they're provider based, module based um, and so forth. So to learn some more, check out the Terraform docs, the really great resource for the different areas. My demo code has been available on GitHub through our link right there. And then, of course, check out the HashiCorp Learn Guides. There are even a couple walkthroughs that focus on sensitives. So with that, thank you.